watching SKST Radio. Well, 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 welcome to another episode of SKST Radio, Smile Business Network, and you are tuned in to the Cami Grayson Show. And today I have a new friend. She goes by the name of Brittany. Hi, Brittany. I didn't want to mess up your last name, girl. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. How about you? You're happy me. I'm good. Oh, my God. I'm excited. It's been a while, right? How are you today? I'm pretty good. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm, I'm good. glad. I can't complain. Well, tell the world who you are and what mm-hmm. you do. Well, my name is Brittany Futrell, and I am the um, of a small business here in Raleigh, North Carolina called Angel Wing Sauce. Um, and Angel Wing is a gourmet hot wing sauce recipe that I created in 2015, and I... Um, Got approved to commercially sell it in 2021. Nice. And on my website, and we're in a couple of stores. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. So for you guys who don't know this lady, when you see this brand, you know this is her. This is her hot sauce. And it is so good. Uh, It's spicy. So uh, I'm sure people from New Orleans will love it. Because it, it it has that twang to it. It's like, make you really want water. <laughs> so it's really good. It has a tasty flavor. And this particular brand, is, it's, it's got a little sweet taste to it as well. So I uh, cannot wait to get this on our, uh, on some wings yes. or something, you know? So tell me, how did you, how did you make this up? How did you make this sauce up? Yes. Well, you know, I've always been a cook. So I've never been to school for cooking, so I call myself a cook. I'm not a chef, but I am a cook, and I come from a long line of cooks. So okay. um, I've always created recipes. You know, um, just I was very creative in the kitchen, and so I created this um, hot wing sauce on a day. You know, I was in a relationship. I used to cook, and I was like, uh, one day I was cooking for him, and I was like, you know, I'm going to um hot wing sauce you know and so i got in the kitchen and i some you know things together and i was like oh my this is so good so i put it on the wings and the guy I was dating at the time he went crazy he was like oh my god this is so good so i started you know trying it on people at baby showers and if i was bringing a dish to a, a gathering or something just to see the reaction and everybody so i said you know what I can't afford to get a restaurant, so let me jar my sauce um, and sell it to the community and to the world like that. Let me get started with that because people can have the sauce at home and go take right. it and put it on their chicken, you know. Um, and so, I, because I was a single mother, and what initially even made me light the fire under me to do it is because I was a single parent, and I said this can also be another form of income. And I said I have to right. find a way to make this money you know because if this is a great talent i'm getting great feedback and i need to make it make me make money so that's initially how it started i I just looked it up on what i got to do to jar and you know um get certified and um and everything and they have cottage food laws here in north carolina so i was able to start off selling it um just labeling it as a homemade sauce and letting people know but i was able to sell it for that for quite some time nice nice yeah so what goes into yeah, yeah. Um, packaging it? Because this is a beautiful label and everything. What goes into packaging it and getting it out there? Thank you. Thank you so much. I had to attend um, North uh, NC State Manufacturing School. Um, yeah, School of Manufacturing, a city food and manufacturing. Um, and I had to complete that certification. Um, and so when you do that, they give you um, they give you a nutritional label. They break it down for you in the food lab um, mm-hmm. to let you know all your nutritional um, information. And then that's when you're approved to be able to go get um, commercial labeling. And okay. then um, you send 
you send the um, information the laboratory gave you with all the nutritional facts, and you send that over to um, your professional labeling company, and put it on your label for you, and they uh, help create it to look professional, you know? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you know, this is what she's talking about, guys. If you can see um, the little back of this uh, where it has all the nutritious, uh, it has the calories, 50 calories and, um, you know, just the facts of, about about this. And also when you I just read this. So once you open it, uh, you have to refrigerate it immediately after you open it. So um, but this is yeah. pretty cool to be able to do this. So. Now, do you still do this at home or now you have to have a big warehouse or something to put this together? How does that work? Well, no, I still do it in my home. Um, I had got my kitchen certified by the state and uh, Department of Agriculture. Um, they have to come into your home and they have to inspect your kitchen and inspect um, your process of how you make your sauce. So I was able to stay a home a manufacturer and it actually um, helps me cut down on a lot of cost. Um, a lot of people in this area in the food and sauce industry did not know you could still do that. Um, and uh, I read down laws and everything, and I approached the um, North Carolina Department of Agriculture about it, and they said, "Well, Brittany, um, you do it, but nobody actually does that." And I was like, "What? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm going to take advantage of this." So I um, had the state come and inspect my kitchen, and it passed. And so I'm, I manufacture it myself. I do the whole thing: produce, um, jar it, and label it. Wow, girl, you're jack of all trades. So what's going to happen when yes. you blow up? You're not going to be able to keep up with this now. Well, hopefully I could be like Madam C.J. Walker was and I can have my own factory. That's my goal. I want my own factory because, Cammy, what happens is when you get into the whole commercial space of um, letting other uh, co-packers um, jar your sauce and jar your recipes they can take your recipes and tweak it and add different ingredients to it and it can have a different taste and oh, angel wings wow. is my baby i i put so much into this i am very protective of the taste and the quality and so i want to keep it close to home as i can because you know in this world you don't have a lot of products that are like that you know so i right. i take pride in it so hopefully i can have my own factory one day That'll be wonderful. That'll be wonderful. Yeah. But we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back after these messages. Okay. If you just tuned in, you haven't tuned in too late. You tune in to SKST Radio, the Cami Grayson Show. And I have Miss Brittany here, who is the maker, manufacturer of Angel Wing Sauce. She makes the hot sauce for your wings and all that good stuff. <laughs> I'm doing it because that's what it was when I was tasting it. <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. I'm I'm just messing with y'all. You need to go buy this. Oh, Brittany, tell people how they can find this. Yes, you can find it on uh, angelwingsauce.com is my website. Uh, I like to uh, sell it direct to customers. So you can go there, angelwingsauce.com. Of course, you would have to pay for shipping and handling. Um, but um, you can also, if you're in the Norfolk, Virginia area, that's where I was raised. Um, I'm in two stores there. One is called uh, Conscious Planet in, on Granby Street in Norfolk, Virginia. And another one is called House of Consciousness in Norfolk, Virginia. And if you're in the North Carolina area, I am located in a store called uh, Kenyon's Meat Market in Mepin, North Carolina. Uh, okay. And you can get it directly there. Oh, wow. Okay, so you are in like um, a, a few places. How do you get your, your hot sauce in those different places? Um, well, I contact the owner and I sent out, uh, I actually went there face to face and I talked to the owner. I bought my product. I told them about my product and uh, how I got started and uh, why I thought it would be, why my product would be great in an environment or a store like theirs. And, you know, they tried it. They, you know, looked at the packaging and they 
thought it would be a fit and they allowed me to um put my product in there and they ordered you know ordered they started out order maybe like a case 12 in a mm -hmm. case Mm -hmm. And uh, when they saw that it was selling and moving, um, they continued to let me stay in there. Wow, that's amazing. So I bet that made yeah, you feel yeah. good, right? It yeah. did. I mean, the first, it yes, it did, Cammy. Nice, nice. So what's next for you, Brittany? Uh, what's next, Cammy? I have a um, new flavor of um, hot sauce that I'm so uh trying to get through in the food lab um they just what the the ingredient that i'm making is it's innovative i believe i will be one of the first to do this as well because i am the first black woman to own a hot sauce business in north carolina as well wow. so Congrats. yeah yes and so this i will this this recipe i'm creating cammy will also make me a first in the sauce industry to do something so i have a new flavor that's coming out that's going to be pretty huge um and so that's what's next um we have a, the nc festival the got to be nc festival coming up in may at the uh north carolina uh state fairgrounds and we'll be selling there as vendors um, and we're also um, going to be at an event called Mom's Moment in Wake Forest, North Carolina, where we will have a vendor table in a booth there. And nice. we're just going to continue to push Cami, um, try to get in more stores on the East and West Coast. And that is what we're doing. Nice, nice. I, well, also, yes, let me tell you also uh, what I'm working on too, Cami. And I thank you for letting me be on this platform. Um, Angel Wings Sauce, we're going to start a mentoring program for underserved and under-resourced um, young entrepreneurs that want to get into the food and sauce industry. Nice. And so that's, yes. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, it's going to be a program. I'm, look, I'm looking into it now to get some funding because I really want to start it out right. So I went to my local government here in Raleigh um, to uh, request some funding for it. They have some opportunities available. And so what I want to do is um, bring in, you know, some young entrepreneurs that want to be in the food industry and sauce in industry and mentor them and let them speak to other people in the sauce industry that are, have been seasoned and been in it for a while and give them guidance and resources to be the best they can be. And also, because I'm a home manufacturer, mm -hmm. I am registered as a actual North Carolina manufacturer. And by, you know, being in my home and it already being registered, if it's an underserved or under-resourced youth that can't afford high commercial kitchen prices, they can come under me and uh, produce their uh, their product in my home and cut costs, you know? Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. So, okay. So with that being said, now, how are you networking with other people to kind of get other communities involved in helping you with this, this project? Um, going to big events, vendor events. And that's how it, it's so many people like me with their products. I went, we just went to Flavors of Carolina in Concord, North Carolina in February of, of, of 2023 this year. Mm -hmm. And it was hundreds of people from North Carolina that made sauces and popcorn and uh, they grew their own vegetables and it was farmers there and people that wow. had pickled asparagus and we met so many people so i got all their information and i have reached out to a couple that have agreed mm -hmm. to um i told them about the program and i said would you agree to be a mentor or to speak with the youth if i bring one to you and they said yeah so it's just about networking going to events seeing like-minded people and people nice. that have yeah i love it i love, absolutely love it how Thank cool you. is that? So, mm -hmm. okay, words of wisdom. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what types of, what, what, if someone was trying to do what you're doing, pretty much like the mentor kids you just spoke about, if someone yeah. was trying to do exactly what you're doing, what would you tell them? Um, stay connected to, your, to the Most High God. I know that everybody is not, uh, believe in the Christian faith or some people are Muslim and Buddhist but if you're asking from Brittany Futrell all I can give you is a witness and tell you what I do. I stay connected to the Most High God. I believe in Jesus Christ and I believe he's the Son of God and I stay connected to my source because he leads and directs me. Um, I had people to tell me that I wouldn't be able to commercially produce my uh, hot sauce from my kitchen but I read my own 
laws and rules and I got uh, to, a chance to get um, free. So guess what? Don't listen to no one. Change the game. Be willing to step outside the box and, and make sure nobody tells you anything. You stay connected to a higher source. Amen, sister. You go, girl. You're going to be a number one femtor. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, my gosh. That gave me chills. Like, you know what? You got it. You got it. So you just keep going. Just just stay focused and keep him first. That's 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 what Amen. you mean. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So now we got this. We got the new new sauce coming up. Uh, what are you doing for Brittany for health care, for self-care? What are you doing? Oh, I take my time out, uh, Cammy, to uh, read the word, meditate. I, I have just recently got into yoga. So uh, I do the things like that. And it's times where I will just, you know, go into my house and shut down, read my word, pray, meditate, take a long bath, uh, you know, take myself out to eat or to a nice movie. Um, I love to do facials on myself. I also make my own. Um, body care products. So I love facials and, um, I, you know, I just relax whenever I feel like I, I need to. Self-care is very important. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, girl, you've mm -hmm. been such an inspiration to me. Just making, you know, I, I'm like seeing your dust. I'm like, okay, let me follow that trail there. Yeah. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Great job. Well, I tell you, I really, Thank really, you. and I'm so, and I'm so grateful that you brought me on today. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just wanted to no, tell okay. you that. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. And thank you for my hot sauce. <laughs> yes, I'm yes. Put it on some hot. wings, girl. You're gonna love it. I'm telling you. Okay. And if you want to make it less hot, candy, put a little butter in there when you heat it up on the pot. That'll bring down the heat some. Okay. Okay. I would do that. I, actually, I got some. Can I just put it on regular chicken? Do it have to be wings? Oh, you can put it on regular chicken. You can put it on whatever you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I got some regular chicken. I can put it on tonight then. That way I can yeah. try it out. Yeah. And I'll That's I'll good. email you and let you know. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's good because I've already taken it. Dish. Oh, I can do that. Ooh. Yeah, I can I can do okay. that. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna share okay, it on so my there, social media. Is there anything else that you would like to share with the world before we go? I just want to tell the world to please go over to angelwingsauce.com and to check us out. Get into the, my story. Uh, follow us on my social media at angelwingsauce at, uh, on Instagram at angelwingsauce on Twitter and keep and, and follow and follow the story. The product is amazing, but the journey and the inspiration behind it is the most important thing because I want people. I don't want to be the last one to do this. I want others to do it as well. And I want them to feel inspired more than anything. When you taste the product, you're going to taste the love, the goodness, the peace. But I want you to also be included in our journey because I want to make history. And so please history. just follow us. Yes. Just follow <laughs> us and, 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 and support. Yeah, I got you. Look, a lot of, a lot of food in this country I'm, I hate to say, but it is cancerous. It is, uh, it's got so many things and poison in it, but this is one product um, here in America in the shelf. That's why I don't want to go to Walmart or Whole Foods. I want it to be so um, bourgeois and, and, and because it is, I take a lot of time and I put a lot of quality into this. So this is one product you can believe in here in America. That's for sure. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. So give people your, your website again. And um, yes. Go ahead. That's angelwingsauce.com. Angelwingsauce.com. Okay, guys, if you want to join the angelwingsauce.com club, like I'm in, you got to get your, you got to get your order. You got to get it shipped to you. I had to get it shipped to me. So that means you got to get it shipped to you. If you want to taste what we're talking about, if you want to, if you want some of this sauce, you got to, you got to use that girl's email address right there, that website right there, right there. Yeah, Angelwingsauce. All right. Thank you so much, Brittany. And thank you for thank my, you. my sauce. And thank you for being on the show. And girl, I want to keep, keep up. I want to know what's going on with the progress. I want to know what's going on with the mentor, the femtorship that you're you're doing with the kids. I think it's okay. a, absolutely. Okay. Until next week, guys. Brittany, tell them bye. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.